everyone. Um, wanted to do a quick review of the quick blade paddle, the Stingray. Um, it's pretty unique, pretty different than any other paddle, supboard paddle out there. It's 65 square inches of surface area on the blade. Uh, when I first got this, I was amazed at, at just how alien it looks. Um, <laughs> I, I thought to myself, this is crazy. I think I made a big mistake. This is, looks way too small and uh, I, I, don't, I just don't know. I had been paddling the uh, Hippo Stick Triple G Pro uh, up, in, up until that time, up until I got this, and also the uh, Black Project um, Hydro Sprint X, I think it's called. And those were my two main paddles uh, that I was using before I got this. And so I just wanted to go over the what makes this one different and then compare it to um, these other two more standard paddles and just so maybe that'll help you make a decision if this is worth uh, the money to you to buy. So uh, 65 square inches on the blade. Uh, we're looking at a width, a blade width of about 11 inches uh, across and uh, about 10 inches uh, top to bottom <clears throat> on the blade itself. This has a tapered shaft so it's much thinner um, close to the blade than it is um, up at the top where the T-handle is. Uh, it, the taper is basically from 29 millimeters in diameter down to 24 millimeters. So as you're paddling, uh, you really feel it, it's very springy and uh, snappy. It kind of feels like riding a, um, like an old steel frame road bike. Uh, it feels actually really good. Uh, it almost feels like it, it springs, it's, it's working with you. And I really don't feel like I'm losing any power um, having that flex down low. Uh, and the, the texture on the shaft is really good. Um, there's, a, it just, um, there's a lot of texture and going, the texture going down this way is much grippier than coming back up, which is unfortunate because when my hands get really slippery, I, I tend to start, my bottom hand starts to slipping tends to start slipping up the shaft. So I wish that whatever they, however they do this shaft, however they lay it up, I wish that was reversed um, to have that better grip on the way up instead of down, because it's really grippy going down. But I use hockey tape on my, my supboard shafts because uh, even, well in Virginia, when it gets super hot, super humid, um, my hands just slip like crazy. I'm super sweaty. And the hockey tape I found is just, I've tried lots of different things and the hockey tape seems to work the best for me. Uh, and I, I can just switch it out when it gets um, old and it's cheap and it's, it works really well for me. Uh, on the top here, the T-handle, it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's plastic or carbon fiber, but it's covered in this, um, I chose, there's two options. You can have a regular carbon T-handle or you can get this one and it's a, um, it's, plastic or carbon and it's covered with a soft foam and it feels so good in the hand and it's just a really solid grip and I love that soft foam feeling at the top it's a really really thin probably I'd say maybe two millimeters thick of this foam material and you have to be careful uh, if you're setting it down on a dock or, or on the ground anywhere that you're not cutting it and and so you have to be a little bit more careful I think with the foam but I don't think it's that big of a problem. Um, you just be careful. Uh, and then when I bought the Stingray, it came with this bag and you do have to get a special bag to be able to fit this, the blade in the, in the bag because uh, it is so wide and so different. Uh, and this, the Stingray is gonna set you back $600 uh, plus, uh, plus shipping. So um, one other thing I really wanted to talk about on QuickBlade's website, uh, they, were, they initially were recommending, I think on their website, they're recommending that you go two inches shorter on the shaft than your standard um, paddle. And at first I thought that was crazy because with how short the blade is, I thought you'd want to go with a longer shaft, but that's actually, um, that's, that's not correct. You, because, the blade is so short, you're getting all that surface area in the water so much quicker that it actually paddles like a much longer um, uh, paddle. So if you look at these other 
um, if you compare it to these other blades, where the blade is in the water, you can see there's so much more, there's so much more um, distance to go. So if, I, if I'm measuring here, where, where the, the width of the blade actually starts to come out from this black project right here, and I put the um, stingray close to that, you can see that the stingray is in the water completely way before the black project is in the water completely. So you do not have to go as deep, so you do not need as long of a shaft. I, on the Quick Blades website, they recommend you go two inches shorter. I went three inches shorter um, at the recommendation from uh, Jonathan at uh, Vermont Ski and Sport. Um, he's where I got, that's where I got this paddle from. And uh, to be honest, I could even go a little bit shorter than that because you just do not need that length in the shaft because you're, you're not going in the water very deep at all. You're only going in the water, uh, what was it? Uh, 10 inches. Whereas this one, the, the uh, sprint paddle, you're going in the water, uh, it's the blade, uh, I'm measuring, when I measure the length of this blade, I don't go up to the top like, like what they have on their website. I think they measure this at 20 and a half inches. And I measured it from here to the tip of the blade. And we're looking at like 15 and a half inches. So 15 and a half inches versus 10 inches. So, I mean, theoretically you could go five inches shorter on your Stingray than you could with this blade, uh, this paddle. Another thing uh, that's interesting comparison between the Sprint X and the Stingray is that this is also a tapered shaft, but it's it's the taper uh, is it's fat at the blade and it tapers thinner towards the top towards the T handle, which is opposite of the Stingray. So Black Project's thinking on that is that you want the stiffness down at the blade, and then you want the flexibility the flex at the top of the shaft for your upper for your top hand for your shoulder so that it's less strain on your shoulder. Um, I will say that I definitely feel the stiffness when I'm paddling um, down at the blade with this versus the Stingray, but I, I honestly, I don't feel the benefit in my shoulder and uh, as much as I do with the Stingray, and that really just has to do with the, the surface area of the blade. This, this um, Sprint X is 88. I have. They have different sizes. I got the 88 square inch blade. And based, that was the recommendation based on my weight. I'm 205 pounds. And then um, in general, uh, when you look at a general uh, calculator uh, for your paddle, paddle blade size, uh, I'm looking at, I should be around 94 square inches. And that's exactly what this one is. The Hippo Stick Triple G is 94 square inch. It's a 94 square inch blade. Uh, but you can see it's much longer and much thinner, uh, not as wide, as either one of these blades. So it's, it's an interesting progression um, where you have the, the long, thin blade, and then you're starting to get a little bit shorter and fatter with the Sprint X, and then you're getting really short and really fat. It's a big jump from the Sprint X to the Quick Blade. Uh, I've had some time to paddle with Quick Blade and I'm, I'm amazed at just how easy it is to keep, I'm keeping the same average speeds as I was with the Hippo Stick or the Sprint X and I'm, I'm keeping the same average speeds but the difference is I, I am much, much less fatigued. I can go a lot longer at the same pace. So my longer distance paddles are much faster because I'm able to hold that higher average speed for a much longer time. So it's been, in that sense, it is a game changer for me. Um, now, as far as top end speed, um, I've, I've done some testing. I've, I've used the Stingray a lot, and then I've gone back to the Sprint X and the Hippo Stick. And I am not able to hit my top end speeds, my same top end speeds with the Stingray as I am with the Sprint X and the Hippo Stick. I'm about a mile to a mile and a half per hour um, slower with the Stingray than the Black Project or the Hippo Stick, but that's only on my very top like sprint effort speeds. So if I'm doing, if I were doing an event less than a mile, then I, I would be using 
my Sprint X. Uh, I, I honestly don't think that I will go back to the Hippo Stick Triple G for my, my 14 foot long board paddling. I'm probably just gonna be using this for, for surfs up now. Um, it, I think it's, you know, I think this will be a, a great blade for surfs up for me. I might have to cut it a little bit shorter um, on the shaft uh, just because that's a whole different style of, of set boarding. But uh, I think I'm going to be keeping the Sprint X and my Quick Blade as my two uh, 14 foot long board uh, paddles for flat water and for open water um, paddling. Uh, so one more thing about the Quick Blade versus the Black Project is the the blade design also is very different the catch the the how many degrees the blade is pitched up from the shaft so the stingray has a 12 degree pitch um, from the shaft so this is the shaft the blade is coming up 12 degrees which is relatively steep compared to other paddles the hippo stick has a 10 degree which i think is also pretty that's pretty steep and then the, um, the angle on the Sprint X is only seven and a half degrees uh, from the shaft. And the Sprint X is supposed to be uh, for sprinting. It's fast cadence, you're in, you're out really quickly, and, um, and, and that's what it's for. So, the, but the amazing thing about the quick blade is with that steeper degree of, of pitch to the blade, I think you, you do have that leeway to leave it in a little bit longer if you like a longer paddle stroke. But if you, wanna, if you want to, to quicken your, um, your uh, strokes per minute and get it in and out really quickly and be pulling it out at your, at your feet, at your heel, you can do that with this paddle. And because of the steep um, pitch on it, you don't need to be reaching, you shouldn't be reaching as far forward as you might need to with the Black Project. So it's a, even though it's a much shorter period of time in the water, it's so efficient because you're getting that, you're getting 64, 65 square inches in the water so much quicker than you are this bigger 88 inch blade, 88 square inch blade, that it's just, you're carrying your, you're getting up to speed and you're carrying your speed um, so much quicker and more efficiently, you're so much less fatigue on you. Whereas this 88, uh, just like, this just feels so tiring to me. This is, this. 88 square inch blade, because of the design of it, actually feels, tires me out much quicker than the 94 square inch blade of the Hippo Stick. This was my endurance paddle before, now it's, now it's the Stingray. So let's just talk a little bit about what you get with these paddles. Um, so the Hippo Stick Triple G is, I paid $500 for it. Um, plus shipping and it, it basically comes as you see it it's one uh, diameter the shaft is one diameter all the way through it's a little bit slippery uh, and so as, as soon as your hands get wet whether it's from the water or from your sweat you start to slip on this paddle but it's a beautiful paddle it's really cool carbon and it's, it's very nicely made uh, it, it is a great paddle for sure um, hard carbon uh, T handle um, very rounded um, it's, it's comfortable, it's, it's a great paddle, and it has a fair amount of um, flex to it, but um, I would say it just has just the right amount of flex. Uh, and it's a great all around paddle, if that's what, and it caters itself much more to a long stroke, keeping the paddle in a little bit longer, and then a big long stroke, more, um, you're, you're traveling more feet per stroke uh, with the hippo stick. And it's a, typically for me, it was a slower cadence. I was paddling this at, at around 55 strokes per minute. With the Black Project um, Sprint X, I'm paddling this one more at um, you know 60, 65 strokes per minute, and it and I get tired with this one. But I'm going I'm going fast because I'm getting that the bigger blade in the water, bigger than the Stingray, and I'm pulling more water. I'm, I'm not pulling more water. I'm pulling. I'm able to pull harder and the paddle's not slipping through the water as much as the Stingray does when I'm pulling hard. But if I'm pulling at my steady endurance pace, my, my 5K pace, my 10K pace, the Stingray is just as fast and it's not tiring me out where like this one does. 
But if I'm paddling at a 200 meter sprint pace or if I'm paddling at a, a one kilometer time trial pace, something like that, I'm definitely gonna be using the, the, the Sprint X because it has, it gives me the ability to, to get in there, set the paddle in the water and pull myself across the top of the water um, at a higher, higher speed. Uh, and the Black Project is coming in at $625 if you pay full price, but Black Project is always having sales. So if you just wait for a sale, you can get a really, really good deal on a brand new um, non-blemished uh, paddle. But they also have, a lot of times they sell their fins, they sell their paddles blemished. And, and I've bought the blemished ones before and you can save a lot of money doing that. And honestly, I, you can barely find what they're talking about when it's blemished. They, they look perfect still. Um, when you do the blemished ones, um, you don't always get a bag, but you can always buy the bag separately. And I highly recommend getting the bag because they are awesome. Uh, you can actually fit two, there's two slots in here in the uh, Black Project um, bag. And uh, you, they, they're just really nice. Um, you slide it in, there's these extra pockets here for, you can keep a fin here if you want to, um, any, like huge pockets here. And another one, <laughs> let me get this going here. Okay, so, um, Lots and lots of pockets, small one here for keeping your whatever smaller stuff in. And then this really big pocket here and it has a netting. So it dry, it, you know, whatever you put in here will dry. And then it has this one on the end and you can put fins and whatever you need to in here. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, um, and Hippo Stick does not come with a bag. Uh, but I was able to find a pretty cheap one on Amazon um, that fits that fit it just fine. So, oh, one more one more thing I want to talk about with the Black Project um, is uh, the shaft does have a little bit more texture than the Hippo Stick, not as much as the Stingray. Uh, so you do get a little bit more grip with that, uh, and the power handle on top, the power T handle, is really awesome. It has more of a forward position on it. You really feel like you're getting your hand forward on it, and when you're paddling, you really feel like you can get up and put that power on top and, and get your weight on the paddle when you're, um, when you're pulling through. Uh, Black Project has this crazy fin here on their, at the top of their blade. I think they call it the, um, the AFT, Advanced Flow Technology. And then that's in combination with their PSD, their Power Scoop Technology. So I believe this is their power scoop technology, is this little um, cupping here on their blade. Uh, and then this, uh, the AFT, yep, advanced flow technology, is this ridge, the spine that comes up here. And it does, uh, when, you're, when the paddle is in the water, and let's say the water line is right here, um, it does create a really smooth flow right over the, the spine of the, um, the top of the blade here and it's really smooth and efficient uh, the stingray is just really really thin down there so there's but it does create a fair amount of um, turbulence down uh, down here uh, but in general uh, you know I've uh, I, I as I've said uh, it's it's pretty amazing how just how easy it feels to paddle the, with the Stingray. And it, I just feel like you can just keep a high pace for a really long time. My strokes per minute on the Stingray, I'm easily holding 65, 70 strokes per minute on the Stingray. And when I do a sprint with this, I, I'm getting up around for 90 to 100 strokes per minute. Um, but I, Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm being inefficient with that. Maybe this paddle is, does have a, a good top end speed and I just need to figure out how to paddle it to get there. Uh, so in general, um, yeah, I think the Stingray is definitely worth the money. Um, I'm glad that I still have a bigger surface area paddle for shorter races. But if I was looking for one high end paddle that, that really could do it all and I wasn't doing any my focus wasn't on 200 meter sprints or I wasn't doing anything less than a mile, the Stingray would be the way to go. And um, they also, um, Jonathan at 
uh, Vermont Ski and Sport offers the Stingray paddle in an adjustable shaft version. So if you really are unsure of how long you want your paddle to be, that adjustable shaft version is, I'm, I'm told, really stiff, really good, and you can always change it to however long you, you need it to be. Um, let, just let me look over my notes, and uh, I, think, I, I think that's all I've got for you. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully that, uh, that helps you make a decision on whether that's, you know, the right paddle for you. Um, happy paddling.